Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching students how to log in to AWARE online testing. This video is primarily directed towards students and any parents or guardians or any, any adults who may be helping support them through this process. These are the step-by-step -step directions that students will take to log in. First, they will log in to their launch pad. For that, you will need your regular computer login. Your username is usually your first initial of your first name and then your last name and then four digits. And then your password is your ID number. If you do not have any of this information, please contact your teacher. Then you will look for the AWARE online testing icon. It looks like this. Once you click on it, you will go to a site that has your AWARE login. It will look like this and it will say Northeast ISD on it. This login is different. First, you will type in your student ID number and then your password will be your birthday and it will follow this format. The two digit month slash two digit day slash four digit year of your birth. We'll, I'll show you some of the online supports that you may or may not have available to you. If you have any problems throughout this process, please contact your teacher. So the first thing to do is open up an internet browser and type in www.neisd.net. Once you get to the district webpage, come over here to the right and look for Launchpad. When you click on that, it will take you to your launch pad. You may or may not have to log into it. You should see an icon with your picture or with your information in the drop down menu to let you know that you're logged into your launch pad. Then you will be looking for this icon, Aware Online Testing. When you click it, it will take you to our district online testing site. Remember, you're going to be typing in your ID number and then your birthday, so it's important to have that information handy. So for example, I'm going to type in this ID number for this student and this birthday. Any one-digit months or days must be turned into a two-digit. For example, this would be 09. Once you've typed that in, click log in. And it will take you to a site with all of the available tests that have been turned on and made available by your teachers. It's very important that you look exactly at the name of the test that you're wishing that you wish to take. I'm going to start first with a math test, and this is the first math test I'm going to take. Click on it. You may see instructions from your teacher, so please pay careful attention to this first page if they have any specific testing directions for you. Down at the bottom right, you'll click on Go to Test once you've read the instructions. You may or may not see some of these different features up at the top. So for example, your teacher may have turned on a calculator for you, and if you click on it, then that will come up, and you can use that to answer any questions as you need. As you need. Some other important features that you can use to customize your test experience is color theme. This will change the way that you view the test, uh, and you might experiment with some of these to see which one uh, helps you see and, and read and understand better. Some other things, if you have speech to text, you will see this icon and clicking it will read the text to you. If you have that, you would want to consider changing or looking into these different speaking options. You can change the volume of the speaking voice by clicking anywhere on that sliding scale. You can slow the speaking speed down or you can speed the speaking speed up. You can change the gender from male to female if that helps you understand better out of it makes that go away. If you need to zoom in or zoom out, clicking that button will zoom in the plus sign and clicking the minus sign will zoom back out to help you read or see things better. Some other features that can help you is you can add a note to the question. You click on that and you can add in anything you would like. So maybe your teacher is asking you to write down your text evidence or maybe they want you to write down any questions you have. Like I was unsure about this question. I need help. 
Anything you type here can be viewed by your teacher. Note here it says note saved. If you change your mind and want to delete it, you can click there and you can minimize that there. Some other things you can do are click on the question guide and that will let you know how many questions you still have answered, uh, you still have to answer, how many you have answered, and if you have flagged any for review. Those are things that you might want to uh, flag it to make sure you go back and check on it. To do that, you click right here and that's like your, your reminder to come back to it before you submit. In order to select an answer, you click on the circle to the left of the word or picture. You have some other features too if you would like to. Clicking on this minus sign removes answer choices that you know would not be good answer choices. To go to the next question, you go to the next button down below. You might have questions that are multiple selection. So for example, this one with the circle is a one selection question. If I see these are squares, that means there are multiple answers that could be the correct answers and I need to select all of them. Whether it's one or two or three, I need to select all of the correct answers. This is a constructed response question, meaning this is a question where you have to type an answer. You could type in a whole word, you could type in a sentence, anything that you need to, uh, to help you. You may or may not have uh, spelling assistance. In other words, if you type in a, uh, something incorrectly, it might give you this red underline and that would help you figure out what you spelled wrong. If you right click on it with your mouse, then you can see some options for how to spell, some suggestions for what might be the correct spelling of the word you want. To do that, to select it, click it, and then that will change it to the answer that you would like. You may also have a enter a number answer. You need to get make sure that you get the correct place value. So this is the ones place and this is the tens place. So if my answer is 12, I need to put one and two and get that place value correct. You might have something to look at on the left and a, and a question to go with it. You can scroll down to see the entire uh, resource. It will not read anything out loud to you even if you have uh, oral administration, even if you have speech to text built in. Here is another uh, numerical response question and again you have to make sure that you get the correct place value built in. So if I want zero, if I want three to be my answer, I need to put zero in the ones place. You might have more than this number of decimal places. If you want to go back and remove an answer, maybe you, you don't think that that's the right answer, but you're not ready to switch to a different answer, then you can just hit clear all, and then that will leave this question blank and maybe you flag it for review. When you are finished answering all of the questions, come down here to review and submit. When I get review and submit, it was going to show me all of the ones that are answered with this dark check mark. It'll give me any that are flagged for review, and then it might it'll also give me a warning that I have some unanswered questions. You can click on any of them to go back to it in order to change your answer or to submit an answer. Once you're finished, click review and submit. You'll get the same uh, symbol again and then submit to score. It'll ask you if you want to if you're sure you want to submit answers, press OK. Your teacher may or may not have turned on a score summary out uh, at the end of your assessment. If they did, then you will see something that looks like this. It'll tell you how many you got correct. It'll tell me tell you how many questions are going to be graded by the teacher later. And then it'll, um, so for example, I can see that I've got question two, five, and six correct. One and four are incorrect. And this is an ungraded question. In other words, this is a question that I wrote out an answer and my teacher needs to review what I wrote before, I, before she will grade the test. I can click on it to look at my incorrect answer so that you can know what kind of things you might need to review or seek out. Uh, teacher support on anything, maybe you're tracking your progress in different skills, and you have these options for you to look back. When you're finished, click exit the test. 
and now you have this test moved down to select a test to review and you can come back to it and review your test at a later time until the teacher closes the test window.